hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today we will be creating this cool music video effect inside after effects first we will import our clip into our timeline this is the footage that i will be using for this effect so let's duplicate our main footage and let's rename it to subject now select the rotoscope tool and then we'll start rotoscoping out our subject i will fast forward it also Take your time while doing the rotoscope because better the rotoscope, better the effect will look. And once you are done with the rotoscope, hit freeze frame. Let's add that to our main composition. Let's preview our rotoscope, how it's looking. Okay, it looks good. For now, we will turn off our subject layer. Now, you know, on our main footage, we will be adding our first effect that is find edges. So drag and drop it in, onto our layer and click invert and since we don't want any colorful edges on it I will be adding another effect that is tint because also we are going to change the color of our edges I'm going with green right now for this effect but you can go any color you want also as you can see there are still some edges that, has, that is left and it's not looking good so to remove that I will be adding another effect Let's add the effect curves. Let's drag and drop it onto our layer. Okay, now as you can see, our blur edges that was visible, now it's gone. And now it's looking way better than before. Now, the another effect that I will be adding is glow effect. And then I will play with the radius. Now it's time to create our portal which will reveal our background. So we'll create a new white solid layer and then we will name it portal. Hit OK. Now select the pen tool and then we will create a rough shape. Now open the mask properties of our portal layer and then we will animate our mask expansion. We will increase our mask expansion pixels let's cover our whole footage now let's move back to our starting keyframe i will decrease the mask expansion till our white part is not visible now select both the keyframes and then hit f9 let's smooth it out a bit okay let's preview it how it's looking now okay so i will go with this now let's add a turtle in this space. Also the amount and size which I am going for this is very random. And also I will keyframe our evolution. So hit alt, click evolution. And then I will add an expression time asterisk 500. Also before previewing, let's increase our complexity. Let's keep it the maximum. Also, I will change the amount as I said that it's just a random number that I'm doing here right now. Now drag it below the subject layer, our portal layer and then duplicate our main footage and let's rename it. And for this layer, we will uncheck all the effects that we added since it will be our the main background reveal layer. So we don't want any effects on this layer. Now I will change my track mat to the portal layer which we created. Another step that we have is duplicating our portal layer and then I will drag and drop it below the mat layer. Also I will be offsetting the time. I don't want my effect to start from the beginning of the video. Now I will drag and drop another effect onto our portal layer that is tint because I want a different color for it. Let's change our color to something around yellow. I will go with the yellow color for this. Now it's time for to animate our subject layer. So let's turn on our subject layer and then under the position, you keyframe it. Now let's move four to five frames forward and hit another keyframe. Now head back to the first keyframe that we created. And then I want my subject to come from the top. So I will animate it. 
Once you are done, make sure to enable the motion blur. I will be adding a glow effect onto our duplicated portal layer. And then I will increase the radius of it. And then I will be adding CC glass effect. And I will changing my bump map to the main footage. Let's decrease the softness and the height to around 100. And the displacement you can choose on your own. I'm going with 150. Thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.